Hi everyone, we've talked a lot about HitFilm's 3D capabilities and shown you the particle simulator in action, but HitFilm is also packed full of 2D effects. The great thing about 2D effects is that they can be very easily combined on the timeline to create interesting results. If you come up with something you want to keep, you can then store it as a preset. HitFilm comes with a whole load of presets, including lots of film looks to make your movies look shiny. We want HitFilm to be really good value, so both HitFilm Standard and HitFilm Ultimate include lots of effects straight out of the box. HitFilm Standard will ship with about 40, while HitFilm Ultimate will have over 90. That's not including all the variations from presets. Today we're going to take a look at some of the generate effects in HitFilm Ultimate. Some of you will recognise the lightning from our previous software. HitFilm's version works in real time, which makes it much easier to position and customise. More basic effects such as colour gradient still have a lot of potential. It creates a simple two colour gradient, but as with everything else in HitFilm you still have lots of fine control. And of course, as you make adjustments, it updates in real time. For a practical example, let's use this rooftop shot from the short film Prism, courtesy of the guys over at Corridor Digital. The default gradient isn't particularly useful, but if we change the gradient colour to a murky green, switch the blend mode to a colour dodge, and then rotate the gradient itself, we end up with an atmospheric green wash at the top, which looks kind of like a good pollution haze. We've aimed to get as much variety into HitFilm's effects as possible. Here's a handy letterbox effect for example, fully customisable in size and colour of course. So some effects are fancier than others, but once you start to combine them, that's when you see HitFilm's real power. What we really want to show you today is the fire effect. This is something you might have glimpsed in our recent video, where the rooftop fire at the base of the smoke was not a particle effect, but procedurally generated. So let's go right ahead and add a black plane to this composite shot, then throw on the fire effect. If we move the playhead along, you can see the flames being generated in real time. Rather than having it fill the whole frame, which is a little bit much, let's draw a quick circular shape. As we move the shape, you can see the fire updating automatically. You've got loads of control over the appearance and behaviour of the fire. If we switch into this other composite shot, you can see that I'm using some text as the flammable region, with the flame coming off the text itself. You can also use layers to block the fire. So here we have something that would probably composite rather nicely as a campfire. And here we have a little green square. Even though it didn't do anything to us, I'm going to drag the little green square into the flames. Luckily, HitFilm's procedural fire can be set to automatically flow around other layers, as you can see here. If we turn the layer off, you can see it's still leaving a hole in the fire. For a different use, let's take this text layer, go into the fire's blocking region settings, and switch over to the text. Let's also widen the source of the fire out a bit. Now you can see the same text from before, but this time acting as a blocker rather than as a source. If you're into your motion graphics, you're going to have a lot of fun with fire. It also has powerful visual effects uses, of course. Here we're using a video layer as the flammable region. If I add the original to the timeline, you can see the green screen stage with a man walking towards the camera. With the green screen removed and fire applied to the video layer, we have the beginnings of a cool human torch effect. Flicking between the two layers, you can see how it's using the video as the flammable region. 2D effects like fire can be just as exciting and powerful as the 3D particle effects. The great thing about HitFilm, of course, is that it has both. As always, send us your questions and we'll do our best to answer them. Oh, and did we mention that HitFilm will be released in July?